Hi, welcome to another episode of the Vibrant Scoop. I'm Lynn Mragu. We'll tell you of a musician who spends 4 million Kenyan shillings on school fees alone every year. Also, stick around to find out about a Nigerian singer who's really mad at Kenya right now. Media personality and Kiss 100 presenter Kamene Goro just got married to DJ Bones. Well, we've seen them hanging out a lot this year. And they got married in a private wedding. That's why, you know, nobody knows. Like, it's not very many people who know about the wedding. Now, going to her Instagram stories where she was flaunt flaunting the ring, Kamene was like, something went down yesterday and also confirming their union dj buenez went ahead and defended his marriage to kamene to a fan who was throwing so much hate to them he was like mtaachana tu mimi kama chairman wa you know the roho chafu mtaachana tu well dj buenez replying to the fan was like wacha roho chafu pambana tu na hali ya maisha yako mjomba well this is the second time kamene goro is getting married and we're just wishing her happiness and, you know, everything nice. Media personality Anita Ray now feels like the president is overdoing religion. Now, she is a very ardent supporter of the president, but she took it to her Instagram stories to say uh, some matters actually need action, not to tell Kenyans to pray about it. She was saying, State House is not a church. Open a church to push that agenda. In the meantime, people are dying in Turkana. Work on that. Do not tell us to pray about it. Now, last week on Sunday, the first family had a Thanksgiving service that had several men of the cloth attending it. And according to the first lady, this is going to be a new norm for the coming months. But what do you feel as a normal Kenyan citizen? Is the, pre is the president really overdoing the religion thing? Tell us in the comment section. Looks like it's high time for all females to go natural as Nyaribari Church Member of Parliament Zahir Janda has vowed to impose a bill in Parliament that raises taxes on all beauty products. Now, taking to his socials, the first-timer MP, who is actually Ambaray's ex-husband, was saying, I'm going to introduce a bill next week that will increase tax on women's products like makeups, human hair, and other beauty and skincare products. This is to ensure that the government raises enough revenue for our country to move forward. Now, if you're a lady, kindly tell me how you feel about this. And if you're a guy, do you really think this is great? Musician KRG The Don now says he spends more than 4 million Kenyan shillings on school fees every year for his kids. Speaking during a Kiss FM interview, the musician said he spends 2.1 million Kenyan shillings for his first kid, 1.8 million Kenyan shillings for his second kid, and 900,000 Kenyan shillings for his third kid. Well, his fourth kid is yet to start school, but the musician said the kid's school in Nairobi, which basically means here in kenya anyway kerji is an interesting guy because when the prices when the fuel prices hiked he was like telling the citizens and the netizens or bashing them out clapping back at them for complaining about the mafuta kupanda when some of them even don't don't have cars to drive akiwambia vile why are you complaining of the fuel prices being so high when some of you don't even have cars to drive so it was like if you don't have a car to drive just don't complain about it that's krg but what about you how much do you spend on your kids for school fees every year tell us down there in the comment section crossing the borders now Looks like it's going to be a rough ride for bongo musician Harmonize and his ex Sarah. Now, the Italian model is currently in Tanzania pursuing their divorce case. And apparently she wants a portion of Harmonize's wealth. But the musician keeps on insisting that when Sarah left him, he didn't have anything at all. Like he was totally broke. And he took it to his social media and said this. Anataka tugawane waligani wakati tumewachana ni kiwa sina pa kulala. The singer recently revealed that his current fiancé, Frida Kajala, was the one who sheltered him, was the one who offered 
was the one who offered him a safety net when things were really bad. Now, if you don't know, Frida and Harmonize were a thing before Sarah. But Frida broke up. Rather, Frida dumped Harmonize because Rayvani accused Harmonize of seducing Paula Kajala. If you don't know Paula Kajala, Paula Kajala is Frida's daughter. And at that particular time, when the rumors were that Harmonize is seducing the daughter when he's seeing the mother, it made Frida mad. So she dumped him. Then Sarah happened. Now, after they broke up, Harmonize came to realize that he still loved Frida. So what does he do? He starts doing things to win Frida back. Well, he did a lot of things, including buying Frida two brand new Range Rovers. I mean, where are all of my exes? But anyway, Frida, at the end of the day, Frida accepted Harmonize because, you know, he proposed a few months ago and she said yes. Isn't love a crazy thing, guys? It has been a bad PR week for Kenya as famous Nigerian singer Fev blasted Kenyan promoters online, calling them the worst and hostile. Now, let's unpack this. On the 24th of this month, Fev was in the country performing in the thrift social concert that happened at the Carnival Grounds, Nairobi. Now, drama started unfolding even before the event because after one day of sleeping at a hotel, the hotel management where Fev and his team were sleeping came and told them to check out because apparently the hotel had just been paid for a single night. Now, Fev would call the promoters. And they would like start playing games on her. So at the end of it all, Fave decided to get herself and her team a hotel. Well, she ended up moving to Edmo Suites in Riverside. And for some reason, the promoters knew where she was. So they sent a car to pick her up to take her to Carnival to perform. But Fave declined, saying... I think she was really mad because I mean at her way, way. So she declined saying that she wanted to be paid the 250,000 Kenyan shillings balance that had remained. But what Kenyan again, the promoters ended up paying her 180 and told her that they will cover the rest at the end of the concert. After the end of the concert, Feb says the promoters were nowhere to be seen. And as pissed off and tired as she was, she just wanted to go home. So when they got into the airport, they were told that there were some technical issues, but were allowed to check in. The problem comes about when they wanted to check out and like go to the plane because the people at the counter told them that their flights were cancelled. At this particular time, Fave reaches out to the promoters, but they couldn't pick up her calls or like they were nowhere to be found at all at all so again Fave goes into her own pockets pays for her own flight and the people she had traveled with and you know this time she even shifted the flights to some rwanda airlines but you would think that the promoters are the only kenyans who made Fave disappointed but the fans also did because while performing at the stage my fans are liba bagyake tena i mean Really, uh, well, she took it to social media and was like, "R.I.P. to my favorite bla, my favorite bug, blah 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 blah." But I really think this is really sad, and this really hurt Fave because she went on to Twitter and lamented, saying that the last action of the last act of wickedness that the promoters did was cancel the flight. And she also took it to Instagram and posted a very long story and some part of the message read, here comes the who even are you commentators, as if you needed to be a somebody to be treated with human decency. I hope you don't get invited to someone's country only to be left hung. Performed at around 2, but I was performed at around 2 a.m., but I was ready since 10 p.m. Yet people think I'm the one who kept them waiting. After the end of the concert, according to Fave, the promoters were nowhere to be seen. So as tired and pissed off as she was, she just decided to go home. Now, when they reached at the airport, they were told there were some technical issues, uh, but they were allowed to check in. After they had checked in, it was until they wanted to check out, you know, go to the plane. 
when they were told that their, their tickets were cancelled. At that particular time, a very confused fave decided to call the promoters again. But they couldn't pick up. So, again, she went into her pockets, paid for her flight. But this time, she changed the flights to some Rwanda airline. I mean, this is really bad. And it's so disappointing that Kenyans would do this. Actually, would think that it was only the promoters who offended Fave, but apparently, while she was on stage performing, fans stole her favorite bag. She took it to her Instagram stories and said, RIP to my favorite bag. On the same note, while she was lamenting on social media, she had this to say. Here come the who even are you commentators. As if you need to be somebody to be treated with human decency. I hope you don't get invited to someone's country only to be left to hang. Performed around 2 a.m. but I was ready since 10 p.m. Yeah, people think I'm the one who kept them waiting. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for staying with me till the end of this video. Now, if you've liked the video, just kindly give it a thumbs up, comment down below, share it, subscribe to this channel. Also, we welcome all of your ideas and opinions of the Vibrant Scope. So if you have anything you want to tell us, just feel free and talk to us. Anyway, my name is Lynn Muragu and this has been the Vibrant Scope.